Significance. We have seen that probabilities can be used to determine whether values are significantly high or significantly low. Previously, we referred to x successes among n trials. We can adapt those criteria to apply to continuous variables as follows. For significantly high, the value x is significantly high if the probability of the value of x or greater is less than or equal to 0 0.05 significantly low if the value of x is significantly low if the probability of x or less is less than or equal to 0 0.05. Now the value of 0 0.05 is not absolutely rigid and other values such as 0 0.01 could be used instead. So let's take a look at example 4. Significantly low birth weights using stack crunch. Use the following criteria to identify significantly low birth weights, grams, of males. Assume that males have normally distributed birth weights with a mean of 3,272.8 grams and a standard deviation of 660.2 grams. So the first thing we want to do is draw our bell curve. So draw our bell curve and then label the information it's given in the problem. So we do know what the mean is. So in the center of our bell curve we have the mean which is equal to 3,272.8 grams. So therefore, this represents the X scale of grams. And so now we're looking to identify the significantly low. So that means we're looking at 5% on the low end of the graph. So that means that we're looking, we want to shade the 5% of that bell curve. So by doing so, Let's shade that area, and then we're going to label that area to be 0.05, or the 5%. So we know that that represents 5%, which is also equal to 0 0.05, and then 0, 0. Now right below that, we want to be able to find out what is the value of x. And then underneath that, we also want to draw the z scale. So remember that the z-scale tells us that the middle, the mean, is always going to be zero. And we want to be able to find the z-score that's associated with the x-value. But the z-score, we can use the area of 0 0.05 to determine that. So in step one, what do we do? Well, recall again that the definition that the x-value is significantly low, which means the probability of x or less is less than or equal to 0 0.05. Therefore, we identify the x value that's separating the lowest 5% of male birth weights. So we, we have drawn the normal curve, shading the desired area of 5%, which is 0 0.0500. And then be sure to make sure that you label where the mean is, and then the area that's to the left of 0 0.05, which ultimately we want to determine what is the value of x. Now we're going to use the following formula, where x is going to equal the mean, plus the quantity of the z-score times the standard deviation. So before we do that, we need to find the z-score to plug it into the formula to find x. So we're going to use stat crunch. So the guidelines for stat crunch, number one, we're going to click stat in the top menu. Number two, select calculators from the drop-down menu and normal from the sub-menu. Number three, in the calculator box, make sure the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. And then number four, since we are looking for the z-score, we're going to locate the bottom right box after the equal sign. And then we're going to enter the area that we just determined it shaded to be 0 0.05. And then since we are looking for the z-scores with the area to the left of that value, we want to make sure that we select the inequality that is less than or equal to and then click Compute. So opening up Stat Crunch, go to Stat, Calculators, scroll all the way down to Normal. Okay, we want to make sure our mean is 0, our standard deviation is 1, which is correct. We see that our inequality is the less than or equal to. So now here down at the bottom, we want to change our area to be 0 0.0500. And now let's select Compute. Now this should match exactly the graph that we have drawn. So let's go ahead and copy that and then compare it. So 
Now, if you take a look at that z-score that's associated with that area, we end up getting the following rounded to three decimal places. We get negative 1.645, which is correct because it is to the left of zero, so it should be a negative value. So now that we found that z-score, we can use that z-score in addition to the mean and the standard deviation to find the result of x. So we can use that formula now. So plugging into the formula, x, which is equal to the mean, which is 3,272.8, plus the quantity of the z-score, which is negative 1.645 times 660.2. Following the order of operations, we get 2,186.8. So that means over here for the value of x, we get 2,186.8. So looking at your graph, this number for x should be less than your mean because it's to the left of it. So when we look at that, we can verify that. So we see that, again, it's a reasonable uh, number because it is less than the mean. So now we can find the interpretation. Now to the birth weight of 2,186.8 grams is on the borderline that separates significantly low male birth weights from male birth weights that are not significantly low.